Hey everyone, Bassman Strikes here. Before we get started, if you could leave a like and a comment, that would be great. Thanks in advance. Also, just as a FYI, the video has chapters, so please skip around to the parts that interest you. The Paint River Landing is a small resort that sits on the banks of the Paint River. and has nine cabins, some of which have impressive lofts, and all have excellent views of the river. Speaking of the river, it's 45 miles long and flows through Gogebic and Iron Counties in the upper peninsula of Michigan and empties into the Brule River before its confluence with the Michigami to form the Menominee River, which then flows into Lake Michigan. The upper reaches of the river include the North and South Branch, and the fish species here are mostly trout. As the river flows through Iron County, it becomes warmer and the fish species change to smallmouth bass, pike, muskie, and panfish. The river is influenced by the Crystal Falls Electric Power Dam and creates a flowage that extends several miles all the way to the Paint River Landing. The river above the dam is filled with stunted smallmouth, which I believe are being affected by the invasive rusty crayfish, which are present in massive numbers. And because of the crayfish, the weeds in the river are sparse, which probably allows the smaller bass to be more easily preyed upon by the muskie. For whatever reason, the fishing below the Crystal Falls Dam is better for smallmouth and above the dam for muskie. Also, keep in mind, if you hear me say it's a better smallmouth, I mean it's better than most of the dinks I was catching, and are decent bass for this particular stretch of the river. By the time we got unpacked, had dinner, and all that, I was able to get out on the river for, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half before dark, and I got a few dinks, and that was it. Keep watching. There we go, folks. Little Paint River Smalley. Look at that, he's dark. One thing you'll notice about the river is the water has a very dark stain to it, and that's from all the tannic swamps that drain into the river. The river's name, Paint, stems from an Ojibwa word, Meskua, which translates to it is red. The dark stained water also produces very deep and colorful reflections in the water during sunset and sunrise. Keep watching and you can see how the reflections seem painted on the surface of the river. So I ran into these local fishermen and I was talking to them and they could not believe how fast my pedal driven kayak was going. Oh, there we go. Another little smallie. Why are they so small here? Look at that little dink. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, a little dink. so small. Well that wraps up day one at the Paint River Landing. So what happened is I just tooled around after I caught the last three bass and just stayed out till sunset and then pedaled back. So this was the only time I fished in the evening. The next two days I fished in the morning and then we did stuff uh, you know as a family and went to uh, Horse Race Rapids, went out for pizza at Riverside Pizza and Iron River, got ice cream, you know, all that good stuff. So keep watching to see what happens. I, I did up, end up catching about 40 bass for the next two days. And there was a couple good ones in there, but most of them were kind of small. So keep watching. Hey everyone, Bassman Strikes here. So it's the next day, and the plan was to head up river. And so I started heading toward the bridge and I got into the first fish. And if you hear me say it's a nice smallmouth, I mean it's a nice smallmouth for this section of the river. So I ended up catching about 40 fish for the next two days. So I'm not going to include every single fish because most of them were dinks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include the best fish and some of the memorable moments. Keep watching to see what happens. Nice one. Woohoo, look at that. There we go. 
go. There you go, folks. Yeah, that ain't a bad smallmouth. It's about 12 inches. Not too shabby. As I worked my way up river, it was dink after dink, just like this one. It did get a little better the further I went up though. Keep watching. Another old dink smallmouth. If there's little ones, there's gotta be big ones. <laughs> Look at that little baby. <laughs> That's a nicer one. It's a little better. There we go, folks. That's a nice looking river smallie from the upper peninsula of Michigan. That's a nice one. Oh, that was the nicest one yet. blows Not as nice as that other one folks another one whoa there he goes dink fast <laughs> well, there's got to be bigger ones that one I lost was pretty decent So I reeled in this unexpected catch. At first glance, I thought it was a deer, deer bone, bone of some kind, possibly a pelvic or jawbone. So after I got home, I did some research and it's definitely a deer pelvic bone. <laughs> Look at that. Well folks, that wraps up day two at Paint River Landing. Overall, it wasn't a bad morning. I mean, I missed one of the best fish of the whole trip, and uh, I got one decent one, and then like 15 dinks. It was pretty amazing how consistent the size was. There's definitely something going on with this stretch of the river. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's related to the rusty crayfish infestation. A lot of the locals say it's strictly the muskie eating them, but I don't believe that's the case. There's something else going on, possibly a winter kill from a few years ago combined with the crayfish. It's just not letting the smallmouth you know, rebound. If it was me managing this stretch of the river, I'd make it catch and release for smallmouth and plant some bigger fish so they can eat the crayfish. The crayfish are just out of control in the stretch of river. There's literally hundreds of thousands of them and they're bold. They just walk around on the bottom out in the open. So anyway, stay tuned for day three. It's coming up and I go downstream this time.
Hey everyone, Bassman Strikes here. So this is day three. The fishing adventure is almost coming to an end. So I decided to head up to the bridge first. Check that out, because there's always some fish hanging around the bridges. And I did catch one, but see what happens. And then I proceeded to head downriver, and this is actually the first time I headed downriver, because I was here a few years ago, and I actually did well. I caught a couple musky uh, upriver. And I never got down river, so I decided I'm going to go check it out this time. And I went almost all the way down to the Crystal Falls Dam. So keep watching to see what happens. So there wasn't any fish hanging around the bridge, but there was like a drain pipe or something coming out of the water, the right side of the bridge. You can see it there, and you could hear the water running. So I went around and started fishing in that area. There's got to be something by this bank. Lost them. Seriously? So after that underwhelming dink, I started to head back down river. The only structure in this area was a pontoon boat. Keep watching to see what happens. This is a decent one. First halfway decent bass. This one ain't bad. <clears throat> there we go, folks. That's halfway decent smallmouth. So after that last bass, I continued to head down river and the reflections in the water were pretty cool. And I started to notice a lot of docks, uh, so I started to hit the docks and it was pretty much the same thing, all cookie cutter sized bass. Uh, for whatever reason, like I said before, they're stunted. There we go. This is a decent one. That good. There we go, folks. Another Paint River Smalley. As I continued downriver, I ran into this cool little lighthouse island, but there wasn't any fish there, so I kept going downriver. <laughs> As I got closer to the dam, I ran into this pretty cool rock formation. The locals call it Frenchman's Rock. Apparently there's a story behind it. That's a better one.
scrappy one. There we go, folks. Look at that. There had to be one in there. So I hung around the rock formation for a few more minutes and was able to pick up one more bass. And again, it was the same cookie cutter size. It's just weird. Scrappy ones. Though, holy shit. As I got closer to the dam, the scenery was just fantastic. And I did pick up quite a few fish here, but they're all dinks. There's the dam. Every single one. So I went a little further and then I turned around and started heading back. This looks like a good a spot as any. So before I turned around, I got into one more dink. Why are they all so dinky? <laughs> As I was heading back up river, I kept hearing these big splashes. So I took out the Corrado DC and the Whopper Plopper, thinking there might have been some top water action going on. But no, it was some kids screwing around with golf balls. And they're lucky they didn't hit me. Keep watching. What the hell? Is that golf balls? That was weird. <clears throat> that definitely wasn't a fish. What the are you guys doing? The kids ran back in the garage when they saw me. Oh, they're hitting golf balls. Good thing you didn't hit me. Well, folks, that wraps up day three at the Paint River Landing. Would I recommend staying there? Absolutely. There's tons of stuff to do around the area, and the only thing I would recommend is to bring a second vehicle so you can haul your boat or kayak, and so you don't leave your family stranded if you want to check out some other spots. 
because there are some uh, really good fishing spots and I, I just wasn't able to make it to those because, you know, I was with the family. But if you could bring a second vehicle, you could always fish below the dam. It's a lot better fishing below the Crystal Falls Dam. Or if you're interested in musky, just stay around the Paint River Landing. There's lots of musky. Bassman out. Thanks for watching Bassman Strikes Kayak Fishing. If you like this video, please click the subscribe and like buttons. If you'd like to be notified of new content, click the bell button. If you have any questions about lures, equipment, etc., please leave a comment. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook page and join our group Black Bass Central. Links will be in the description. We'll see you next time.